Hello, everybody, and good day. This is Fred with Tech Talk, and I'm coming at you today with a subscriber requested video on what you can do if you have a customer, a client, or a home that currently has Cat 5 or Cat 6 Ethernet cable uh, run from a location uh, to another location in the facility in which you would like to employ a analog AHD or TVI high definition CCTV camera. Analog cameras generally will use, not generally, always will use RG59 Siamese cable or RG6 cable to transmit the uh, data from the camera to the DVR um, using coax, okay? In this situation, during construction, um, instead of running coax, the contractor ran CAT6 cable, okay? And instead of putting an IP camera up at the other end of that cable, we want to use a analog camera, which again is, is designed for use with coaxial cable. The solution for that is what's called a video balun. Using a video balun, you can plug the internet cable into one end of this balun, and it will convert the signal to coax, which you can plug into your camera. And also we can employ this 12 volt pigtail. We can put a male connector on here and that can give the camera power as well over ethernet cable. It's not a difficult process. We're gonna cover it right now. Let's get into the meat and potatoes. Before we do, there is a subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Please click that if you have not yet subscribed to our channel. That way you'll be notified when we post new content such as this. Also like the video if the content is useful to you. Okay. Um, but yes, this is a video balun. Okay. This is what you would use to convert Ethernet cable um, to a camera designed for uh, RG59 or RG6 BNC coaxial cable okay so these are the same they come in packages of two okay one will go on the recorder end um, where the recorder and the power supply is the other uh, video balun will go on the camera end okay and this will plug into the camera so we're going to contend with this one first obviously this BNC part will plug into the camera we will cover that portion when we get there but what we're going to do now is terminate the power lead that is going to give the camera uh, its juice, okay? This is a 12-volt pigtail. It is 5.5 millimeter by 2.1 millimeter, okay? Again, there's a link below on how, how to order these guys. But what you want to do is connect the red wire to the red wire and the black wire to the black wire. And you can do this in a couple of ways. Okay, you can do a twist on connection, which I prefer because it is quick and easy. You can also use a uh, 18 to 24 gauge crimp connector. Okay, those are generally red in color. Okay, for an example, we're going to use a yellow crimp on, um, but you would want to use red when you're doing this in the field. The twist on connectors are very simple. Okay, you're just going to put these two wires together like so. Put the twist on connector, twist it to the right, clockwise, and just like that, you have a connection. You wanna do it till it's tight, you don't wanna over tighten, okay? And, and this provides a very firm connection. This is at the camera location, so this is going to most likely be in a junction box, which is weather tight, or it's going to be uh, inside the wall, okay? If you prefer the crimp on type, um, all you would do is put this wire, we can straighten it out a little bit, it's a little frayed, uh, into one end of this, like so. Um, and you can put the other end in the other side, and you could crimp these with a crimping tool. Okay, let me get a crimping tool, I'll show you that. This is a crimping tool. Um, again, the right connector for this would be red in color. As you can see, the crimping tool would have a red dot there. It has a blue, it has a yellow. This is a yellow, so I'm going to go to the yellow dot, and I'm going to crimp this just like so, okay? Now I can go to the other end, push it in, like so, and we can do the same thing on this side, 
okay? Just like so, okay? So now the red is secure, okay? I'm tugging at this pretty good as I'm tugging at this and they're not gonna come connected, okay? To me, there's not a right or wrong answer. It's a preferential method. You can use a crimp on connector or a twist on connector, okay? Some people prefer crimp, some people prefer twist. I prefer twist, okay? Now what we have, this 12 volt uh, male pigtail can plug into the camera, which I have right here, into the camera pigtail, okay? And it will fit like so, and it will give the camera juice um, through the video ballon, through the internet cable. Of course, the other end of this pigtail will plug into the camera, right? So now we have power and coax connected to the camera through the video ballon, okay? We'll connect this part of the video ballon to our Cat6 cable, okay? Just like so. And that's it, okay? At the camera end, we have a Cat5 cable coming from the DVR location. Um, that is plugged in to, the video ballon is plugged into the BNC connection of the camera, right? Just like that. And we have terminated the male pigtail, which is now giving the camera power, okay? See that? So the camera is good to go. We would want to weatherproof all of this in a PVC box or wall, okay? Installing as a camera is a video for another day. We don't have time for that now. So now let's move on to the recorder end, okay? So this is now the recorder end. We have the other end of the Cat6 cable, right? and we have another video ballon, okay? One of the ends is gonna be real simple, right? We're just going to plug that in to the number one slot. Boy, it's hard to see from this angle, kids. Number one's right there, okay? So we can plug this going into there, okay? So it's plugged into the recorder, right? Put the recorder back up. One end of the video ballon is plugged into the BNC connector, number one. The other end, we still need to give power to, right? So there are two ways to handle this. If you happen to have a transformer, uh, a 12 volt transformer um, that is designed for that camera, okay? These cameras need 12 volts, one amp. Um, you could have a power supply such as this, which has a male pigtail on it, okay? There is a part number in the description for a 12 volt single camera power supply. Um, and essentially what you would do is plug that into the wall. The male pigtail from the power supply would plug into a female um, power supply, a, a female power lead. Again, the part number for that is in the description. Um, and you would then do the same thing we did on the other end. We would put red to red, black to black, okay? Just like so. And I will use my twist on connectors for that really quick. There's red to red, and then we have black to black, okay? If you are a commercial installer, okay, um, you may not be using a power supply at all for this part, okay? Um, if you're a do-it-yourself or you're doing it at home or for a small business, um, you will probably be using an individual uh, transformer to power this. Um, many places will also use... Um, when you do a commercial install, a proper 12 or 24 volt power supply. Again, this is a 12 volt camera. So what you can do is you can get some 18-2 cable um, that comes with the, uh, with the Siamese BNC cable, and you'll see there's a red and a black lead to that, okay? You would actually put red um, to plus, which is on the top, like so, and black to the bottom, tighten these, 
And this power supply box would give the camera the 12 volts of juice. This is for, again, for professional industrial type install. These are the power supply boxes that we use. Um, but in any event, you will need to power this pigtail uh, in some fashion for it to work, okay? And again, once you do that, um, the CAT6 or CAT5e cable will transmit both power and data over this ethernet cable um, to the camera location. And again, we, we went over how to install the video ballon on the camera location, um, and this will work perfect. Hopefully the video was useful. Um, video balance are cool tools. We will see you in the field.